In this tutorial, we will learn next set of sheet metal tools. At first, we will create one base flange. We will give dimension to it. Okay. Thickness is one. Okay. Then from here bend radius is 1. Then we will create some edge flanges. And we will give some angle to it. Ok. Now we want to close this gap. For that you can use close corner. Click on close corner. Then select the faces to extend. I want to extend this face. And because of this tick on the auto propagation, it will automatically choose the faces to match. And from here you can define corner type. There are but. Then there is overlapping is there. Overlap and underlap. Then from here you can define the gap. Suppose I want it to be 0 0.5, so this gap will be created here. Then here is ratio for underlap and overlap. Suppose if I give give it 0 0.5, so it has overlap or it has underlap by 0 0.5 ratio. That means 0 0.5 of the thickness. Now we will keep this open bend region untick, and we will choose OK. Now it has created bend region like this here and if we change it and if we tick the open bend region and click on ok so it will cut like this next is welded corner for that we will create some more edge flanges suppose i have here one more edge flange and here also then ok now here I want to add welding, click on this welded corner, then select the face of a sheet metal corner to be welded. I will select this one. Now it has automatically added the welded portion. Then from here you can give the height of the welding, suppose I want to weld up to this. So it will give welding up to that height, suppose I want to weld up to top. In this way from here you can specify the height of the welding. Then using this it will add the texture and by ticking this it will add the welding symbol automatically. And if you don't want to add fillet you can remove it. It will give the corner and if you want fillet click here. And from here you can define the radius for the fillet. How much you want. As for that this radius will change. Click on OK and in this way your welding corner will be added and symbol is also added automatically. So we will just cancel this welded corner, delete. Then next is break corner or corner trim. Click on this break corner. Then from here select the corner edges where you want to add chamfer or fillets. Suppose I want to add chamfer on this edge, then give the dimension here, parameter for chamfer and from here you can apply the fillet. And you can choose the multiple edges also and click on OK. So it, as for that it will add the chamfer or fillet. Then there is one more tool is there corner trim. This corner trim is applied on the flattened part. We will just flatten this part. Then this corner trim tool will be activated. Click on that. Choose the edges where you want to add the corner trim. Suppose I want to add corner trim to this edge. Then from here you can choose the shape of the relief. Suppose I want it square. It will show it square or bend waist. So it will show like this. Suppose we will take it circular. Then from here you can give the radius or you can also add this radius with respect to the ratio to thickness. If you give ratio to thickness, 
and here you will have to give the ratio factor suppose i give it 2 so our thickness is 1 1 into 2 is 2 then you can also add the add filleted corners and you can give the fillet to the corner we will increase this fillet to 0.3 and done so that fillet is applied here on the corners using this command you can also add the fillet and chamfer in the flattened state by clicking on this it will collect all the corners automatically click here so it has selected all the corners or if you want to add chamfer or fillet on the internal corners then you will have to select the internal corners at first we will cancel this clear selection click here then select the internal corners so in this way you can apply the corners or on internal positions also was here and if we click on this collect all corners so it will show internal and external also click on this internal corners only it will show only internal corners and if you want to show all the corners remove this tick it will show all the corners and click on ok and these corners will be visible only in flattened state if we cancel this flattened state these corners will not be visible only corners apply in non flattened state will be visible and if we again flatten it it will show the corners then next is forming tool before creating our forming tool we will see how to place the existing forming tools to place the existing forming tools click here design library design library and from here click on this forming tools from here you can choose the different existing forming tools there are embosses are there suppose i want this circular emboss just drag it and place it wherever you want to place it then if you want to change the direction then using this flip tool you can change the direction on which side you want it then if you want to give the exact placement for this click on this position and using the smart dimension you can place the dimension for it from this point to this horizontal line then other will be from this vertical line to the center point In this way you can give the dimensions ok and then then click on ok it will add that forming tool and if we flatten it it will show the forming tool also and if you don't want to show forming tool in flattened state then for that click this forming tool edit feature and from here click here over a document setting and remove this tick and click on ok and now if we flatten it it will not show the forming tool and you can also show the other details also for the forming tool by editing the feature if you want to show the profile center then click on ok and now if i flatten it it will show the only the profile and the center in the flatten condition in this way you can add the forming tool there are lures are there just drag it place it wherever you want it and from here you can change the angle i want it in 90 degree enter so it will show it in 90 degree and using position you can give the position from here you can flip the side and click on ok in this way you can place any of the forming tool and if you want to create your own forming tool then you will have to create your own part click on this new then choose the part click on ok then create one part suppose we will extrude one part on top plane we will create one rectangular forming tool give the dimension suppose i want it to be of 20 and this is of 10 then ok then extrude direction depth is 10 ok give fillet i want to apply fillet to this edge this edge and this edge and to vertical edge also this vertical edge and this vertical edge then ok then by clicking on this forming tool specify the stopping face where you want to stop the 
surface so I want to place it by this surface then from here you can specify the faces to remove I want to remove this face and this face and click on OK then save this forming tool click on save then from here select forming tool save as type is forming tool go to forming tools directory click here and create new folder then here also you can give the name to the part suppose I will keep it part 2 then save then again you will have to save the part also save I will save the part as part 2 only save then close this forming tool then to apply the forming tool again click on this design library then forming tool your new folder is added my forming tool double click on it and this is the our forming tool and this is the part SLDPRT is the part and this is the forming tool so you can save the part in different folders so that you will not have two parts here so we will just drag it and place it flip tool and click on ok so in this way the forming shape is created properly that's all thanks for watching we will stop here